What's up everybody? Spare with a gun here back on our vanilla Minecraft server. Um when we left off, I don't remember what I was doing. I'll be honest. I don't rem Yeah, don't remember what happened. Um so today I am down in my cave tunnel or my tree mine, I guess I should say. Now, I wanted to point something out here. I had started to do a mine this way. Um, and as I mentioned before, we, I talked about making this a tunnel down to um, the ocean out there. And I just, you can tell, man, I was running into lava everywhere. And this far down, um, this really isn't the best place for resources either. Um, so what I did, um, because I was just, I was having so much problems with Like, I was... I've gotten a lot better at mining and working around lava, um, but that doesn't speed it up any faster. Um, so what I did was I came up here to what I don't want to I don't want to show it to you yet because it's pretty. Um, did I pass it? I passed it. I came up here um, to my other mine, which I believe is at fourteen ish, so it should be kind of in the range for diamond. A level and it gives me a few blocks between here so that I don't have um, I don't run into that same lava as often um, and the other thing this lets me do as you can tell here is it lets me build whereas down there you're right at bedrock so it's not as easy so ta-da it's a long tunnel um, I have this little chest here for just excess stuff that I find in case I want to keep going but I don't want to carry diamonds or something on me and you'll notice this is a little patchy um, here and there eventually I want it to look um, I kinda like this brick for um, a tunnel see like this so you can see this section I worked on a lot eventually I'm gonna tear all this out and turn it into bricks um, and ironically, along along the way, you might wonder what this is. Hmm, it's a mine shaft. I randomly just, you know, do 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 digging along, and I turn to my left and I see a mine shaft, and I was like, holy crap! That because I'd run into a mine shaft um, in my exploration, um, but this was actually like uh, the other end of it. So um, what I'm gonna do is I don't know if I was I don't think I'm gonna continue this I think I'm gonna stop it here building building out the tiles and then it'll just be into the the mine shaft thing now um, I'm right at 30 levels so I don't want to die but I need these rails um, so that I don't have to build more oh pooper yeah, and there's quite a bit of stuff down here. Um, as far as not just resources, but bad guys and stuff. I've, I've found um, one of those miniature spider spawners. I don't remember their exact name, but they're annoying as all get out. And I do need more. I, I the, the thing that brought me down here, though, is not only do I need levels, because um, I have a another diamond pick, which is why I'm going ahead and using this one. I always try and keep a backup. So I have a diamond pick that is not used that I would really like to enchant. Um, but for a diamond, I definitely wanted a full 30 levels to put on it. Um, the other thing is I made enough power rails, I think, in theory, to finish my um, cart. Oh no, no, you suck. Um, to finish the cart in the Nether, right? So that's kind of the other reason I'm here is because I had enough power rails. I don't really have enough rails, hence why we're here, because this is basically free rails. Um. Let's go ahead. I don't know. I don't know how I want to do that. Oh, I'm right at 30 though. I might have to. Um, I might go back up to my hut once I get to 30. 
Oh, I didn't need to put that there. Um, so yeah, made a lot of progress in the tunnels. Um, what else do we got around here? Wow, if I die right now, I will be so angry. Oh, and I have my torches too, so I can light some things up. And this should come out somewhere. I don't know where, but I was in the jungle, and I ran into a spot that led into a mine shaft, which I can only assume is this, because it's the only one close enough to my house, or the nest, um, to be anything. But I have not found where it comes out at yet. I hear Zomba. I hear Zomba's... Oh, that's a spawner. Is that a dungeon? Oh, what's it spawn? Zombies. Zombie spawner. Man, I was... Um... Alright. Do I get... I don't get experience for that. Oh, I get experience for zombies, though. Oh, jeez. I thought I put that block there. Oh! Good lord. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. I have 30. I don't need you right now. Nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm. I don't know why I'm lagging. Stop it. I, now is not the time for lag. Dude, seriously, what is going on? I'm stuttering every five feet. Um. Wow, I have no idea what's happening right now to my computer. Alright, I'm going to pause it and we're going to head back up. <clears throat> to the uh, to the nest, and we'll be back in a second. All right, and we're back. I enchanted my pick. Not bad. Um, I got an efficiency for silk touch one. Um, so we're gonna keep that. Oh yes, I've done a lot of work up here. By the way, I put my perimeter for the enchantment room, and this is all set up. It just needs glass. Um, I opened all this up and put some more of the um, the same thing. The roof part, I haven't quite figured that out. Something's wrong with this this one wall here. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Um, I fixed this corner thing like I talked about. I found that I've done a lot of these one by one pillars like this. Um, this is so I have a pillar where the walkway stops at the corners like that, but then I also have a pillar at the corner like holding the, the roof up, so I've done a lot of that here and there. Um, as you can see, I've done most of this. I actually got glass up here. I need to take that out. Now, I didn't know that it would do this. I have the connected textures on, so it just goes down, but I didn't know if you put it in a, a plus sign, it would make this little cross shape, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and put this back. I have a clock. I have a clock now. See, this is what I don't... Something about this and stuff is off. I'm not sure what yet, but something about that's weird. I have to fix that eventually when I get a more permanent storage room and all that good stuff. I've done a lot of this. I fixed the nether portal one. Um, I moved the nether brick fence out, out here. Again, glass will be over top of there. I haven't done this the inner inner stair lining for this part. It stops right here. I uh, did all this stuff, put fences here, ran it out there, uh, ran around this corner, yada yada yada. I haven't finished this part so it's still unsafe. So yeah, I did a lot of work to this and on the roof you can you, you can tell my very professional stairway. So the roof still follows this style of a two tall stair and then one out plank style. And that might be the problem over here. I can't really tell. I might have built this roof part wrong and it needs different dimensions. But you can see here, this is what I plan to do with the rest of it, is have glass um, set up through all this to where it's actually a, a full block tall, which is why you need the second row of stairs. Otherwise you could just do slabs or something else out here. Um, but I didn't like the idea of it sticking out, so I did that. Um, this part, this roof here, kind of wrapped into this roof, because that's only too wide. So it just makes this little platform here, which again, I don't think 
mobs can spawn on stairs or slabs. I might be wrong about the stairs. I know they can't spawn on slabs. Uh, but I don't think they can spawn on stairs. So, yeah, a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of jungle wood harvesting and planting and all that good stuff. Um, so I want to go back down to that mine before... Oh, one other thing I wanted to experiment with before I go, since this is going to take time anyway. I still have... I, I got to move that. There's no... No reason... Oh. There's no reason why that should be in the middle of the floor. None. Nope. Nope. Did it wash it? Okay. And I've started putting torches up on the, on the pillars, too. Which I kind of like. I think I might stick with that idea eventually. Um... Um, so I'm going to go down here, and we'll be back in a minute, because this is a long descent. Alright, we are back at the mine shaft. Um, some of you might have picked up on that I never said what I meant to use those planks or slabs for. Um, I'm testing the cobble generator. It left the slab that I put there, I think, a while ago in one of my episodes, but it did burn the plank that was right next to it, so planks still will get burned. Um, but I stacked those two slabs together because I want to see if it if lava treats the two slabs as a plank or if it sees them as two slabs. Because I know when you break them, you get two slabs back. So I want to see if it treats them the same because if it does, you could actually make stuff look um, like it is a plank next to fire and lava and stuff, but actually not have it get burned. So... Let's check out this zombie spawner, though. This this might be a good way for us to grind XP at, at some point. If I can turn this into a XP farm. Anybody? Alright, what do we got? Ooh, saddle, record, wheat, iron, iron. Ooh, goody. Yeah, I'll turn this into a uh, uh, farm at some point. I, r I have to admit, um, the mechanics, these new uh, zombie mechanics, are interesting. But they definitely make things harder. Um, and the reason for that... Wow, this is a big place. The reason for that is that, like, the more you kill them, the more show up. And it makes it difficult to secure an area, um, because you kill people off, or you kill the zombies off and stuff, and then they just bring more friends. So it can be kind of difficult now. Not impossible, but just, it's definitely harder. Um to deal with stuff like that. What do we got here? Coal, redstone, okay. Sweet. Another minecart. That'll come in handy. Um, I really didn't set out for this episode to explore this, actually. I was just going to pick up some of these tracks, but it's just a huge area. So I might end up doing that anyway. But no, I really want to... Oh, jeez! Is that... I didn't know skeletons could wear armor now. Come on. Boom. Ow. Gotcha. Oh, he dropped leather armor, too. <laughs> cool. I have iron, but, you know. Alright. I'm thinking... I'm going to use, um... Oh yeah, I haven't been doing the the right torch system for finding your way back, did I? Dang it. Oh well. Um, let's grab this. Okay. I don't really want to do too much more. Oh, there's another... He's 
gotta be up there, maybe? I don't know where he is. Man, I'm not getting any anything good out of these. Man, they gotta be close. They're making so much noise. Although, it's always hard to tell in Minecraft with noise because it always does such random noise generation things anyway. Oh. I don't know if this is the one I already found or if that's a different spider spawner. With my luck, it's probably a different one. Oh. Come on. Wow, and I'm getting that lag again. Lag spikes. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's another one. Don't do it, creeper. Man, if I could really stop lagging right now, that would be awesome. There we go. Stop it, dude. Alright. Okay, that can stop that any time now. Die! I hate these little ones, I can never hit them. Okay, so let's grab these, and then I think we're going to get out of here. For now. I'm definitely going to have to come back here, though. I mean, there's a lot to get. Definitely a lot to get. Woo! That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you never dig straight down. Come on. I like... Yeah, I would also recommend having a water bucket. Okay. Alright, I'm going to get out of here. If I can find my way back. Um... And we're going to head into the nether, so I will be back when I'm set up to do that. Okay, here we are in my nether portal area. Nether hub, train rack, train track, whatever. I don't know. I can't talk. Um, so, as you can see, I've got some of the, I've got these lined up. Um, and the problem here is this. It's the incline part. Um, Adrian and I were, um, testing different things on here, and we figured out, um, that it takes roughly a, let's see, if you get in here, um, it's not real fast, but it's steady, and I think, I don't remember if this will make it all the way to the edge. I don't think it does, but it's really slow. And then you get down here. Now the going down obviously is very fast. And then when you hit Oh my gosh, these stupid pigmen. These pigmen, man, have been such a problem. All right. Whoop, now we're going to speed up. And I think we get to the end of the track here. So, first things first, let's see if we can't uh, finish the track. I should have everything that I need. Um, the one part that's going to make this a bit complicated is that I would like to do a return system for both sides. Um, and that might be a little tricky, especially with all this good stuff. Um, let's see, we'll put it about, say, here. Oh, wait, no. This should go over here. So what I need is track, track, like 
like this, and then and we put a button. We put a button. Boom, and we can get rid of this. So now you can put this guy here. Bloop. Um, and so the theory is this button will go, but there will be a button like over here maybe that will go through redstone wiring and call it back. That's the part I've never really tried to do before. Um, and we're going to see if it works or not. Um, but I believe going up this hill, I'm just doing this temporarily so that the track is more complete and then I'll figure out how many power rails and stuff that I need out of what I've got. Um, I'm not even sure. Nope, I don't have enough rails. Jeez, this is such a long track. Um, we figured up that I think it was every three. Come on, go. Um, on these, it was like every three. Now, the redstone part, the recall thing, yeah, one, two, three, and then one, I think. One, two, three, wait, that's four. One, two, three. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Yeah, all right. So it's like every three, and it's not real fast, but it works. Three. One, two, three. Yeah. Um, so what we do is we place the power rail. Now, you can't take out this block, or the power rail will fall, if you didn't know that already. Um, and then we place one there. It turns the rail on. Um... And then let's let's move some of this stuff around here. I don't actually need this because it is um, useless in the nether. So then you can put this back and voila, nothing there. One, two, three. Yeah, Adrian marked some of these when we were working in here. Um, I just didn't know if he marked all of them or not. Shut down. The hard part for me is I've got to check and make sure there's no lava because I had to build some of this area up um, because there was so much lava that I was ending up like uh, building the area because there was no floor or something. Yeah, see, like this. This is the problem. Mm. Um... Gosh, I hate I hate this so much. Oh, this is so dangerous right now. I'm so nervous. Yeah, see all of this. I don't I don't really want to draw attention to myself. Um, but all of this is from here on out is gonna be like open basically. Which is not good. Alright, so that worked. One, two, three. Alright, cool. So this shouldn't be too bad, except that it really, really is. Dang it. Oh, this is bad. Because I have no way to get down. How did I do that before? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. Well... I don't think I'm going to pause it right now. Um, and yes, I know, I could make it non-aesthetic and just... Actually, you know what I might be able to do for this side? Is... If I can come off of this, maybe... Dang it! Dang it, man. I can't... I can't get to the bottom part here. Oh, yes I can. Haha. <laughs> there's a will, there's a way. Put this here. Now let's see if this will power it. It won't. Okay. What about... that? No. What about... 
about that. No. Dang it. Um, hmm. Well, that put a kink into things. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to pause it here. Unless, actually, let's just move move on to something else for a moment. I'm going to put this here so I know where it needs to go. What I want to do with um, the return system, this is going to run into the same problem where I've got all this hills that have been built up or dug down or whatever, um, that it's going to give me an issue. And you know what? Let's go ahead and put... Um, Let's go ahead and put one right here, just to speed it up. That should be pretty decent. Um, what I would like to do is essentially have it set up to where um, there's a signal that I can push here or over there to call it back and forth. And what I'm thinking is having similar to how I designed these um, is putting like a redstone under here and then this would probably be hollow and it'll go out and over to that spot and then um, I don't have a button let me borrow this just to see if it works so in theory what you should be able to do would be do, do, do. I don't need those yet. So let's do one here, one here, and let's say you had a button here. When you clicked it, it's not going to power that. Hmm. Okay. What about? Uh, no, that won't work either. Well, no, that might work. Hold on. Um, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see. If I did it to where... It came up one? But then, okay. That might not work that way. This should be covered up eventually anyway, so it shouldn't matter. Oh, that's gonna cut it. Dang it! Stupid redstone never works the way I want it to. Oh, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have to, like, invert the signal, I guess. So... Dang it. Well, that's not gonna work. We did this. Okay, that turns that off. Mm. It's not really what I wanted to do. Will that turn it off? No, that won't turn it off. Alright, I'm just playing around here. I'm not all that wonderful with redstone. Um... So what I need it to do is, um, well, hey, there's an idea. Let's do this guy here, this guy here, block there, oh, dang it, redstone is just so derpy sometimes, it never works the way I want it to. Unless I have to, do I drop it lower, maybe? Maybe I should drop it lower. If I can. Alright, so let's try this. They always end up being huge contraptions instead of really small ones. That's why I liked red power. Um, I've established... No. It has to be on the block. Okay. Because that'll keep it like that. Not interfering? Not interfering. Okay. And then... Let's see. 
If I did... Okay. I did... Okay, that's inverted. And... Oh, that won't work. Alright, let's, let's switch this. I know, I know. Somebody's probably tearing their hair out right now. Why don't you just do it this way? Well, because I didn't know how to do it that way, apparently. Okay, so torch there. Block. Haha! Now, the other moment of truth is... This still work. Okay, we're in business. We're in business. Okay. So let me cover that up. So this would be the return block. And you could click it and it would essentially well, if I click this one, I want it to go to the other end. If I, you click it over there, it goes to this end, but essentially whatever the cart is sitting on, it'll activate that power rail which sends it down the track and all the other power rails are powered so it'll basically just be a recall system um, which is fine so now that we've got that set up I'll just have to mirror it over there and then connect these two to each other instead of now the one thing I don't know is if I'll have to run two separate lines because the repeaters I believe only go one way unless I might look up and see if there's uh, if if there's in the newer redstone mechanics that they have, if there's something that's uh, two-way. Um, if there is, please let me know, because um, that would help compact the redstone mechanics a great deal. Um, but yeah, so I think that about wraps it up for this episode. Hopefully next episode this will be established and it'll be done, but this was kind of an overview of how I'm going to do it. Um, and then hopefully the next time it'll be the finished product. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace!